Hello and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. This is Plex Image. If this is your first time visiting, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And also turn on the notification icon. If you have any question, you can contact me. My contact is being on the screen right now. Yeah, but I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So in this video, I'll be showing you how I transform these beautiful portraits into something entirely different. It's not an extreme manipulation. I'll just show you how I smooth in the background. How I readjust as shapes, how I fix as shape, I won't be showing the retouching space, how I smooth in the background and how I do the color grading. So with just this few basic steps, you should be able to get a nice portrait. Not every not every picture has to be manipulated. So we just have to go with the basic things, smooth in the background, make the background look seamless, then you export your picture. And that's what I'll be doing for you right now. So this picture was taken with Canon 6D. Uh as you can see why Canon 6D. I light set up the Grado CD200 Pro as the major light and in conjunction with two CD520 flash. So that's how we achieve this image right there. Actually, the first thing I'll be doing is to make basic adjustments in my camera row. So for me to do that, I would like to reduce my highlights and also exposure a little bit. So let us zoom in a little bit. Then I'm going to reduce the exposure a little. Then the contrast, I'll bring it up. The height I will bring it down and all the white also I will bring it down. So yes before and the after of what we just did right now. But as you can see, when I brought down the exposure, it actually reduced uh, the brightness on the skin for me, which is what I don't like. Then this time around I'll just go to my HSL adjustment over here. Then under the orange which is the skin, I'll make sure I'm on luminance. Then I'm going to drag it up. So it's going to brighten my skin back for me. Yes the before and yes the after of what we just did right now. So that being said, now the next thing we need to do is just to open our image in Photoshop. Click on open. So I'm waiting for it to load up. Boom. Automatically it's going to open up in Photoshop for me. So the next thing I'll be doing right now is for me to crop my picture. As you all know the best size I love using for my picture is my 4x5 pixel. So for me to crop now, you can just click on C on your keyboard or you can just go to crop to over here. Click on it. As you can see, it's already on my 4x5. But in case yours is not there, just open this panel here. You are going to see different sizes. Whereby you are going to pick the 4x5 into bracket 8x10. So I'm going to click on it. As you can see right now. But when I click on it, it actually pouts the leg for me, which is what I don't like. So then I can just mess with my navigation key to make sure I fit it in whatever location I want it to be. Then I'll extend from this side. I'm going to extend from this side. I want a wider background. So. Once I'm done with that, I just have to click on my enter key. As you can see right now, we're thinking, how am I going to fill this area up with the initial backdrop? Which is what I'll be teaching you right now. The first thing you need to do is to make sure you go to your rectangle map, which is over here. Then you scroll over it this way. You are starting with this side first. Then you click on Ctrl D. After doing that, make sure you are holding down your shift key. Make sure your shift key is hold down. Then you're going to drag this way. Once you're no longer seeing that uh, color there again, just remove your hand on your mouse, then remove your hand on the shift key. Click on your OK, Ctrl D to deselect. Ctrl D to deselect. So we are going to do the same thing to this other part also. I light on it this way. Ctrl T for pre transform. Whenever you highlight, make sure it's not touching any part of your model, your subject, or the accessory he or she is, we he or she is wearing. So Ctrl T, hold on the shift key, then you drag left also again. Click on OK, Ctrl D to deselect. So as you can see, if you are getting something nice, with just few clicks. All you just need to do right now is to smooth in our backdrop. So we do the same thing down here also. As you can see, I'm trying to avoid the area that she's standing on. Avoid that leg right now. So Ctrl T for free transform. Hold on my shift key. I'm going to drag down. Ctrl D to deselect. Then boom, we have our background extended. So some might want to do our background is. So that being said right now, the next thing we need to do is to adjust our shapes. So I'll be teaching you how to do that also. The first thing I'll be doing right now is to duplicate my image. So that in case I make any mistake, I can easily go back and start talking on it again. So Ctrl J to duplicate my image. After that, I'll go to my filter. Under filter, I'm going to go to liquidify. So there are so many things you can use to liquidify, but for this video, I'll be showing you how to readjust shape. So please don't overdo it. Make sure you take a step at a time. So I don't like the way Atom is around this way. Just make sure you're spinning the first brush. So I'm just going to stuck it in. Stuck it in this way. 
I'll stuck it in you can see I'll stuck it in this so you can see I'm doing it here fully so that I won't overdo it you can see right now just want to make sure she has a perfect shape when the picture is to come out you can see right now so you can take your possible time and I'll also be dropping this video this pair for you guys to practice with so you can also try it out also you can see right now so I adjusted that area so now let's add a little bit hips for her to make it look more real you can see so make sure you are not overdoing it just make sure you do it in a moderate way as possible so I think this is still way better than the first picture we brought in I'll be showing the before and after right now Here is our before and here is our after, before and after, before and after. Look at what you just did with just few clicks right now. There are so many things here in the liquidify. There are so many things we can work on in the liquidify. But the one we'll be using in particular is just this one, how to readjust the shape. So as you can see, it's just few clicks. There is no extreme technique about it. Don't make sure you are not doing it the wrong way and you are not overdoing it. And that's all. You are good to go. You are going to have a nice... Uh, shape that you want to create it on your you want to create on your own so after you're done with this place just click on your okay i'm going to take you back to photoshop so here's the before and here's the after as you can see right now so now you can now merge your picture together by clicking on ctrl shift and e you can see right now after that you can now start your retouching i'm going to skip the retouching process for now whereby i'll be fast forwarding and doing the retouching myself so I'll be dropping the video and retouching separately. It's going to take a lot of time and it's going to bore you guys out. So I'm going to be showing you later on how I do my retouching. But for now, stay with me guys. I'm going to fast forward this process. You can now get all my picture editing file at 11% discount price. The reason why I'm using 11% discount right now is because I'm on 11k subscriber. Once I hit 12k subscriber, it's going to increase down to 12% discount. All you have to do is to Go to the link down in my description in my video description any of my video then click the link it's going to take you directly to my store home so here's what my store home look like now scroll down and look for whatever product you want there then click on any of the products wait for it to load up then click on get now after you're done with that put in your details here everything is already here now click on get a coupon once you get there now click on family as your coupon code family then click on apply automatically as you can see you are going to get a 12 percent discount on whatever you buy so but the full pack it applies to all my products so you can just get that right now guys as you can see i just passed for the retouching process though it's not all that perfect I just have to do the retouching before i start my manipulation so after doing that the next thing i'll be doing is to measure the layer together by clicking on ctrl shift and e again so that i'm going to duplicate it back by clicking on ctrl j so as, can, as you all know now we are just starting from scratch right now so the next thing i'll be doing is to remove my model from the backdrop and you need to take this step very seriously if not you are not going to have a nice manipulated picture so the first thing i'll be doing i'll go to my quick selection over here i'll click on it then i'll click on select subjects then i'll wait for the ai to make the selection for me whereby i'll be doing the adjustment myself as you can see it did 80 percent of the job for me more than 80 percent 90 percent of the job so I, all i just need to do now is to make the adjustment myself then i'm going to refine the edge of my picture so it's giving me a nice crop out image so let me just do the adjustment by using my polygonal lag like this one i'll make sure this one is on addition first you can see i want to add to the selection so take your time to crop out your picture perfectly if not i'm not going to have a nice manipulation so as you can see right now so i'm using the pots positive and the negative simultaneously i'm adding to the selection i'm removing some selection at, at the same time so back to addition now as you can see it's very even easy, easy to crop out the image it actually did a great job for me 
So you should be on subtraction. Okay, back to addition again. Back to addition. You can see right now. You might be thinking, how am I going to remove the background as on the S band? So don't worry about that. I'll be showing you how to do just that right now. Uh, it's not going to stress you out. So let us say we are done with our selection right now. The next thing we need to do is to to delete the background. Before doing it this way, and you all know that if you have been watching my video, I'll just create a max on it. Once I do so, it's going to max the background for me. But you might not know what we just did right now until you have to turn off your background layer. As you can see, we have our model, our subject without the background. So for we to refine the edge now to remove all the backgrounds we have here from the air. Next thing to do is to double click on the max you just created. Double click on it. It's going to take you into another panel. So this time around, make sure you are selecting the second brush. Then go over the area you want to remove the background from, from and it's going to protect your strands here for you. So now let's go over it this way. You can see right now. It actually deleted the background from that side and it took the details on the air. So the strand of air is still there, making it look more real, more realistic as you can see right now. Some might not even tell the difference if you remove the background. So let's do the same thing here also and let's see it's going to work out. Wow, this is perfect. Can you see that? So it actually removes the air from the backdrop and also it leaves the strands of the air. And that's the beauty of manipulation and the beauty of changing background. So it's going to make it look more real, not as if you crop out the picture. So let's say we're done with it now. Then click on OK. It's going to take you back to Photoshop. This time around, you can now turn back, turn on your background layer back now. So after doing that, click the background layer and duplicate the background layer one more time by clicking on Ctrl G. So this time around, you can now name this layer you just deleted modify. Click on it, modify. So after you're done with that, the next step is to hold down your control key and make sure you're clicking the mask. Click on it. Wait to back the selection for you. You don't have to just go back and start the action from scratch again. So once you're done with that, just go to select, under select, scroll down to modify, then click on expand. Expand by 8 pixel, then click on your OK. After doing that, just hit your delete key. Make sure you're on your modify layer. So Ctrl D to deselect. You might not have what you just did right now if you don't know how to work with layer. But if you have to turn off your background layer and to turn off the layer above it, you can see we have just our background layer without our model or our subject in it. So turn it back on. Don't forget we are still working on our modify layer. So the final, second to the last step now is just to go to filter. On filter, go to blur. Then make sure you are clicking on Gaussian blur. So the radius is to about 100 or so. So I can smooth in the battle for us. Mm. I think 78 is okay. 78 is okay. Look at how similar the backdrop looks. Click on OK. Look at how smooth in our background has gotten. Let me turn it off as you can see. It's actually smooth in our background for us. But the issue I'm having right now is the color of the backdrop is not that enticing to me. So why can't you modify the color? For you to do that now, create an empty new layer on top of our modify layer. To create that, just click on empty new layer right here. Then go to your color picker over here, then sample from the background color, the one you like the best. I think I'll go with this, then I'll click on my OK. After doing that, I'll go down to my gradient map, I'll click on my gradient. I'll make sure it's on the first selection, and I'll open this up, I'll make sure it's on from this cream color to nothing. Click on OK. So I'll just scroll from the top, I'll scroll down this way, and boom. Look at how it created a seamless backdrop for us right now. Very, very easy and straightforward. So that being said, now you can start to color grade your picture this way and export it, and you're good to go. But let me just add a little bit of fight to it. Let me add a little bit of smooth effect to it to make our picture pop a little bit. So for me to do that, I'll just go to my file manager. Then I'll go to where my smooth effect is out of my files. All the files I'm using, they are all available for sale. If you're interested in getting any one, they're available on my store. And you can now get them at 12% discount right now. 12% discount. So, this is Snoot Effect, which I was dragging from my file manager. Let me adjust it this way. So, here's what the Snoot Effect look like right now. So, for which to make this Snoot Effect look like a normal Snoot Effect. So, make sure you place it on the location you want it to be. I think I want it around this way. 
So just put down your control key and click on it. Click on the box here. Once you click on it, as you can see it brought a selection for us. So we don't need this any longer. So just turn it off. Then go to your adjustment here. Click on curves. So under the curves now, drag it up until you see fit. I think it's okay around this way. Then click on your enter key. But this time around, it's a little bit too sharp at the edge, which I don't like right now. So for me to reduce that, just click on the max. Once you click on the max, you're going to load up the property back with ID. Then increase the feather. As you can see right now, look at how it looks. It looks normal and okay. It looks like a real smooth effect. Then you're done with the picture editing. The next thing is just for you to color grade. And as you all know, I don't color grade my picture from scratch. It tends to stress me out. So I have five in doing that. So in this video, I'll be color grading with my gradient map right now. Just a single click away. Then you're good to go. So I'll click on my uppermost layer right now. Then I'll go to my adjustment layer. I'll click on my gradient map. Then I'll open it up and I'll pick the one I want in particular. Okay, let's, go. let's try this out and see how it's going to work for us. I uh, don't mind this look right now. It might look wet to you, but don't worry, we're going to make amendments to that. So click on OK. Then from normal, you change it down to soft light. And boom. Look at how you color graded that picture for us right now. Here is the before and here is the after. Very, very simple and straightforward. So it's make our picture look. Look at how seamless our background looks. Look at how neat it looks right now. Look at what the background looks like before. Even this, we have actually done some editing to it. And look at the after of our picture right now. Look at how cool it looks. So not every time you have to do extreme manipulation to make your picture pop. Just do simple and basic one that will make your picture look very, very okay. And you're good to go. I hope this video helps a lot. So that's all this here, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also turn the notification icon. If you have any questions, you can contact my number is seen above here. Yeah? Bar of Jabax. And all the files I use in editing my pictures, so the and the next one to come and the first one. They are all available for sale in my store. You can just go and purchase them there or you can come straight to my WhatsApp whereby I'll be showing you how to get them. So thanks for watching, see you guys on my next tutorial, one love.